What's going on guys? It's Isaac. Today I'm working on the Biscayne again. Well, more specific, the head to the Biscayne. And hopefully in this video I'll be installing it on the Biscayne. Uh, right now all I've got to do is install the three lump ports that I have for it. They go in these uh, intake ports. I have to drill a hole to bolt them in place. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to do a time lapse of me uh, hopefully not messing up this head because <laughs> uh, there's a danger of drilling into a water jacket which is that would be very bad so uh, let's get to installing these lump ports guys here we go All right, guys, I've installed the lump ports. They're looking good. And now I've run into a problem. I was getting ready to uh, install the umbrella valve stem seals. And they're not going to work with what I've got. I've got some heavy-duty valve springs for this camshaft that I've got in this uh, car. And the they just won't work. So, <laughs> most of these regular seals that, that were on, the, the valve seals that were on here, most of them were damaged by the, the, the head shop that installed them. I don't know if they knew it. It doesn't matter because I was going to change them anyways. Um, but during installation, they were, they were damaged. Uh, like, okay. Hopefully you can see it right, yeah, right there. That was uh, damaged on installation. I'm assuming they used some sort of a, a socket. Here's another one. Some sort of a socket. Whatever they were driving it on with, it just uh, uh, damaged the seals. Uh, more than half of them were, were broken. So, um... Now I've got to go uh, in the morning to pick up some new uh, valve stem seals. Something that'll work with what I'm uh, using. So uh, this head is very close, very close to going on the car. Um, so maybe I ought to just uh, install The, a new water pump and a new front uh, timing cover so I'll go ahead and do that tonight until uh, 9 o'clock when it's bedtime so uh, yeah I've, I still got plenty of stuff to do I've got a, a new water pump for this thing and the new time and cover seals so let's install that
So, uh, it's the next morning. My dummy self uh, thought that I never went and picked up the uh, water pump from the parts store. So I ended it a little early last night because <laughs> I had to go visit the parts store this morning. And I asked him about the fuel pump, uh, water pump. And he was like, well, you came in and got the water pump when you got a fuel pump. And I was like, really? He was like, yeah, that was like two weeks ago. And I was like, oh my gosh. So anyhow, I had to go searching through all my vehicles until I finally found the water pump, fuel pump, thermostat, all that stuff together. And I grabbed it and I brought it here to the warehouse. Now I'm back on it again. Uh, we're getting close to getting the head on. Uh, so uh, let's get this new fuel pump on it and uh, install the umbrella seals for the valves on the head so I can put the head together and set it on the car. So let's do this, finally. Alright guys, so it looks like I'm not going to be able to take this car to the drag strip in this video. Um, in fact, I can't take it today, period. Because anytime you're doing any motor builds and you're having to modify anything, you're always going to run into something. There's no way you're going to have everything, like, ready. Um, especially on something like this. Like, I, I can understand you can have everything ready on a small block, you know, something kind of more common, but... You know this this inline six here uh, yeah not many people do these kind of builds so there's gonna be a few little hiccups here and there um, so my issue is I've got the roller rockers in place I had to get the correct length push rods and my issue is the push rod holes, the uh, push rod tubes do not fit. The originals fit fine, but since these are longer, they went a little wider, make them stronger, and well, they won't fit. And the only way I can make it fit is if I oversize the holes. Well, now I have the head bolted on. So 
if I oversize the hole the holes all those metal shavings are gonna just go right down into the engine and I uh, can't have that so let me see I believe these are the push rod holes yeah so I wouldn't have to oversize the bottom but the top I sure would so yeah Alright, so I'm going to just kind of see what I can do with this. Um, the drag strip is tonight. I'm not going to make it. Um, i got to wait until the businesses are open in the morning. And I'll try to find push rod tubes. Uh, so I guess maybe one more video before this thing's running. I was so counting on this thing firing up today. Alright guys, well I'm sorry. So guys, I couldn't let this video just go like, like it did. So I'm hopping in my Nova and I'm heading to uh, a friend's place. So maybe I can find some different rockers or, or different push rods. So actually, I'm going to be going to a couple of different places because uh, I, I just got to get this thing going, guys. So what I'm riding in today is my beautiful 1975 Chevy Nova. It's got just over 19,000 original miles on it. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite cars, one of them. Not, not the favorite, but one of them. Oh. Yes, it has 19,567 miles. <sighs> All right, so I'm hoping my friend's at his place. And he's got some really cool stuff. So you'll see it here in a second. Hold on, guys. One that size of ten to eight. Ten to eight inch, huh? So what size are these? Nine point eight seven five. See road on the side. See it's road on the side there. Oh, okay. I took a right picture there. of it. Nine point eight feet. Okay. Is that the right length? Uh, they look they look day. like the right length, but I couldn't get them in there oh, really? to really check. Yeah. might have to wind up drilling them holes out which means I'd probably have to take the head off to do it yeah keep getting metal in yeah yeah I think I might have to try ordering push rods um can I take one of those uh 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 non-roller rockers and see if it does any different it might fit a little better i'm not sure yep you take, uh, take the whole pile up you take you what you want you hit it in they're free oh they're free all right this is Anything comes on big block Chevrolet, it's gonna be like I used to work on it. Gonna be three eight push rod. Right. <clears throat> Thank you.
going to take what I can get. Five sixteenth was that the uh, diameter? Five sixteenths. Okay. this out and see if it's any different but it, it it probably won't be any different at all uh, it's about like I said earlier it's about a quarter inch about maybe a little less than a quarter inch uh, difference uh, this is too short So, I just left my friend. I'm gonna see if this uh, rocker's gonna help me out or not. And uh, he said if I'd come back by one o'clock, uh, he'd order me uh, the push rod for me set of it so uh we'll see so anyhow guys if uh if you like this video get on it if you like this video give it a thumbs up i appreciate you watching and i'll catch y'all later Okay. Right, thanks a and, lot. and that and that was the longest uh, y'all could get was the. Uh, yeah, nine point eight hundred. All right, I'm hoping that'll work. All right, that sounds good. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you very much. You. Holy cow! That's a lot of money. For. Oh my. Ha, 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 ha.